we're going to talk about the left hand rule or the right hand rule um, that determines which way a motor will move. Okay, and as I said in the other couple of videos, you need to use the right hand if that's the way your book does it, and you need to use your left hand if that's the way your book does it, and um, you'll get an answer appropriate to what you're being asked. So, when electricity flows in a wire, and that wire is put near a magnet, that magnet will push on that wire, or pull on that wire. And that's called the motor principle. That pushing or, push or pulling is um, what makes a motor turn. So what we want to know in its simplest form, which way is that wire going to be pushed or pulled if electricity is flowing in it and it's near a magnet? So we have a rule, it's kind of three-dimensional. In the other rules, you use your right or left hand, and you basically use your fingers one direction and your thumb in one direction, and you curl your fingers in both of them. In this rule, you need to use your right or left hand, and it has to be flat, and there's a third direction, which way your palm is pushing. And that's the direction of the force, so that works out quite well. So here's sort of like a 3D drawing. I've got the flow of current this way, and I've got a north and south pole of the magnet. So because current is flowing, then uh, this magnet is going to influence to, to be pushed in some direction. And the direction of that force, which we call the motor force, is out from my palm. So if you look here, the electricity is flowing that way, and my thumb points in the direction of the flow. So my thumb is going to point that way. My fingers point north to south. What that really means is, Keep your hand flat and point your fingers to south. So if my thumb is that way, this is north, this is south, my, my fingers are going to be pointing down, not up. So my fingers are down, my thumb is that way, which way is my palm facing? My palm is facing out towards the camera. So the motor force is that way. So let's do a couple of samples, okay? Here's a, a wire near a magnet. Because electricity is, flow, is moving, flowing, uh, this wire is going to be pushed. Which direction is it going to be pushed? Well, I've got to put my thumb in the direction of the flow of the current. So the electricity is flowing in a wire this way. And it's coming out of the board because we have a dot. So my thumb is going to be out of the board. I'm going to keep my hand flat. For the motor principle rule, you've got to keep your hand straight, not curved. I point my fingers to south. So my fingers are going to point down. My thumb is still out. I double check that. And which way is my palm? My palm is to the left. So the motor force is to the left. If I was using the right hand rule, the current would be flowing differently probably, and I'd use the same thing. My thumb points in the direction of current, my fingers are flat, they point to south, and my palm shows the direction that it's moving, okay? So we might get different answers in the left hand rule. It all works out because of the way the current is flowing in each rule. So don't worry about that. Let's look at this one. My thumb is gonna be pointing out my fingers are going to be pointing to south. I double check my thumb is still pointing out when I rotate my fingers to south. And my palm is down. So the force of the motor is going to be pushing the wire that way. Let's try this one. My thumb is going to be into the board because we have an X. X means into the board, so electricity is flowing that way. My fingers point to south, so I've got to go like this. My fingers are pointing to the left. My thumb is still pointing into the board. My palm is definitely down force on the motor is down. Now in an actual motor, what happens is, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail because it's, it's a little bit too complicated to explain in a short video, but you basically got a loop of wire sitting between two magnets, a north and a south pole of the magnet. And as electricity flows, it influences the wire to be pushed. This side might be pushed up, this side might be down, and so as a result it's going to rotate that loop this way, clockwise. Perhaps this wire is pushed up and this wire is pushed down and it's going to rotate counterclockwise. So what I want to look at is, which way is this thing rotating? Is this going to be counterclockwise rotation or clockwise? I use the same rule. In this wire, electricity is flowing into the board. So my thumb is into the board. My fingers, hand flat, my fingers point to south this way. As a result, my palm is up. The motor force is going to push this side of the wire up. This, the electricity is out. My fingers point to south. The force on this part of the wire, the motor force, is down. So if it's going to rotate, this is going to go down, this is going to go up, it's going to go like this. Down on that side, up on that. It's going to go this way, clockwise. Let's try this one. Piece of wire with electricity flowing through it between two poles, it's going to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Which is it going to be? Well. Thumb into the board, 
fingers to south, so it's going to be thumb into the board, fingers to south, hand flat, down. Force of the motor is that way. Thumb out of the board, fingers to south, the force is up. If it's up on this side and down on this side, it's going to rotate that way. Up on the right, down on the left, this is going to rotate counterclockwise. That's the basic principle that determines which way a motor is going to rotate, and this is the rule that governs it. It's very similar to the others, except you've got three directions, and your hand has to remain flat.